Introduction. A historic disruption in the EV industry. Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Maxwell Chikumbutso has stunned the world with his revolutionary self-powered electric vehicle, a car that does not require fuel, external charging or lithium-ion batteries. This breakthrough could mark the biggest paradigm shift in the automotive and energy industries in over a century. The commercialization of this technology has taken a major leap forward in 2025. We have got the sport mode, which will give you 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in around 2 seconds. So right now, we are waiting on that to put a, a, an assembly plant in Zimbabwe. But one thing that we have seen is the cost. Uh, right now, I want to just give you a figure, which is not the total of the cost of the car, but I just want you to understand that car which is outside. We are looking forward to manufacture 100 cars at 14,000 each. That is the cheapest car. So even if you spend it at 20,000, but if we do a retrofit for you for $20,000, it doesn't make sense. Because what is very expensive is the like DC, DC converter, the power train, depending on the electric motor that we are using, and the, the, the truck that you want. So it can even go to 60,000, even to 100,000. So it doesn't make practical sense that for you to just buy a car which is coming as a full solution believes that Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Wanagagwa said no one can take away that capability. He said this earlier today when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Max Chikumbuto paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first if soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. This is one of Chikumbuto's groundbreaking innovations. He calls it a self-powering electric vehicle, powered entirely by radio waves. This is the first of its kind in the world. Today, Chikumbuto paid a courtesy call on President Mnangagwa at the State House in Harare, where he presented his latest inventions. I'll switch it on so that you can see. I think you can see the battery. It will start to charge itself. The president said such were testament that Zimbabweans were skilled enough to usher leading inventions that defy logic. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There is no other in the world. This is the only vehicle in the world that it is here in Zimbabwe by this young Zimbabwe. He is so gifted, you want to believe it. When he first came to uh, talk to me, I, I thought he had some. In the old wires. <laughs> <laughs> now no it's well connected. Well connected. Chikumbuzo took the opportunity to explain and demonstrate how his latest invention works. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable. Then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. And the vehicle itself, it has got 160 kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 308, 320 to 380 newton meters of torque. That means it's, it's fast. President Mnangagwa revealed that he was personally supporting Chikumbutwa in his endeavors. The 44-year-old high school dropout was initially offered millions of dollars by the United States of America to stay and continue his work in the country, an offer he refused. The president praised Chikumbutwa's innovation, which include wireless self-powering drones and television sets, among other inventions. <laughs> <laughs> and it happened. it happened. The inventor chronicled how himself and his colleague had been poisoned in the United States of America because their idea was challenging traditional ways of thinking. As Chikumbutso is now setting up mass production in Zimbabwe, with backing from the Zimbabwean government and a partnership with a Chinese manufacturing firm, instead of relying on traditional lithium ion batteries, the Scythe EV, as the vehicle is called, reportedly harnesses radio frequency energy, allowing it to generate power continuously without an external source. 
If successfully scaled, this technology could eliminate the need for charging infrastructure, disrupt the global EV market, and render fossil fuels obsolete. However, this game-changing innovation is not without controversy, skepticism, and powerful opposition. As Chikumbutso moves toward commercialization, his invention faces scientific scrutiny, regulatory challenges, and potential suppression from industries that rely on conventional energy sources. Chikumbutso claims that his invention operates using a proprietary system that converts naturally occurring radio frequencies into usable energy. This allows the car's battery to continuously recharge itself, eliminating the need for charging stations or fossil fuels. 160 kW electric motor delivers 320 to 380 Nm of torque, comparable to modern EVs. Unlimited driving range, no need for external charging, 15 kW power generation capability. The car can power an entire home, reducing dependence on the national grid. Top speed of 220 kmh rivals high-end EVs. Affordable pricing estimated at $14,000 per unit, making it a competitive alternative to current EVs. While mainstream science suggests that energy cannot be created from nothing, Chikumbutso asserts that his technology harnesses microscopic energy from radio waves in a way that defies conventional physics. Chikumbutso has reportedly rejected multi-million dollar offers from US investors who wanted him to relocate his operations. Instead, he has chosen to establish a production facility in Zimbabwe in partnership with a Chinese firm. This move aligns with Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa's vision to foster local innovation and position the country as a leader in next-generation technology. During a State House demonstration, Mnangagwa publicly praised Chikumbutso, calling his work a world-first breakthrough that could place Zimbabwe at the forefront of clean energy technology. The Zimbabwean government has pledged support for mass production, which could lead to thousands of new jobs in the manufacturing sector, a boost in foreign investment as Zimbabwe becomes a global hub for self-powering EVs, increased energy independence as the technology eliminates reliance on lithium-ion battery imports and fossil fuels. This decision has also raised concerns among global automakers, oil companies and energy corporations as a commercially viable self-powered vehicle could destabilize trillion-dollar industries. The self-powered car has the potential to fundamentally alter the global automotive and energy landscape. The EV industry, dominated by companies like Tesla, Rivian and BYD, heavily relies on lithium-ion batteries, which require extensive mining and supply chain logistics. If Chikumbutso's technology proves viable at scale, it could eliminate the need for EV charging stations, disrupting existing infrastructure, reduce reliance on China, which currently controls over 60% of the global lithium battery market, and challenge Tesla and other EV giants offering a more sustainable and cost-effective alternative. However, without widespread acceptance, Chikumbutso's technology could face regulatory and industrial resistance, similar to past energy breakthroughs that were suppressed. While Chikumbutso's claims have generated excitement, they have also been met with widespread skepticism. The laws of thermodynamics state that energy cannot be created from nothing, which is why mainstream scientists doubt the feasibility of a self-recharging battery. Chikumbutso has stated that his patent applications were rejected in the US because his technology violates the known laws of physics. He has also accused powerful interests of trying to suppress his work, even alleging that he and a colleague were poisoned during a visit to the US, leading to his colleague's death. For mass adoption to occur, the following challenges must be addressed. One, independent scientific validation. The technology must be rigorously tested and peer-reviewed. Two, regulatory approval. Governments and energy agencies must authorize its use. Three, scalability. Mass production must be proven feasible and cost-effective. Four, consumer trust. The public needs to be convinced of its legitimacy and reliability. Despite the obstacles, Chikumbutso remains committed to bringing his technology to the world. His partnership with China and support from Zimbabwe's government could accelerate production, leading to early-stage market deployment within the next few years.
If successfully commercialized, the Scythe EV could revolutionize personal and commercial transportation, drastically reduce global carbon emissions, end dependency on fossil fuels and lithium-ion batteries, and empower Zimbabwe as a leader in futuristic energy solutions. However, history has shown that disruptive technologies often face fierce opposition. Whether Chikumbutso's self-powered car succeeds depends on overcoming scientific skepticism, economic interests and industrial resistance. Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered EV is one of the most disruptive innovations in modern energy history. If proven scalable and scientifically validated, it could redefine the automotive industry, make traditional fuel-based and battery-powered vehicles obsolete, and position Zimbabwe as a pioneer in free energy transportation. But for now, the world waits to see whether Chikumbutso can bring his vision to life or whether corporate and scientific barriers will prevent it from ever reaching mass adoption. One thing is certain, if his self-powered car succeeds, it could mark the beginning of a new era in energy and transportation, one that challenges the very foundations of modern physics and economics. So there you have it, folks. Let me know what your positive thoughts are about this development. Thanks for watching, gentlemen and ladies. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a flight to catch and self-powered car to drive.